Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to make a series and a parallel circuit. Now, I already have series. This one is series, for example, and this one is the parallel circuit. So, how did I do this? First things first, you need to have this um, simulation interactive online software. Is it the software? I'm not sure if this is software. So you go to this website. This is from pet.colorado.education or .edo. And you get this one, Circuit Construction Kit AC, DC, or you can, I think there are four, Circuit uh, Construction Kit AC only and DC only, and I, I forgot the other one. And you just simply click this one. If you cannot find this, you just go to search and type Circuit and then this one will come out and there are actually four so you can choose either of them so I choose ACDC and then once you have this I think I have DC only okay um, anyway okay so you click that one when you have this one already in your when you download it is already in your computer and if you cannot open you have to go back to this website and also download Java this one Java okay so once you got that one then you can open your circuit construction kit open it with Java okay now I already have mine and it's here right so let me close this one so I can show you exactly how did I do it um, exit uh, let me go to my webs to my PowerPoint M3 I can here here it is so this is how it looks like when it opens it says grab a wire okay so let's make a series circuit first I'll do it fast for you guys okay and the battery this is a battery so you connect your battery to your wire okay for negative and for positive terminal and then get one battery or two it's up to you you can have three or more and then get one switch as well this is the switch you can close it you can open it and then get another wire connect them and this is by the way you can stretch this one okay you can make it shorter make it longer and then let's get one bulb make sure you connect this side of the bulb here you connect the bulb properly because there are two junction here for potential energy to takes place okay because the voltage of the bulb should be different from one side to another and then you connect this wire again you can have two bulbs at least two bulbs so we can have a comparison later for series and for parallel circuit okay and get another wire so you will do a lot of grabbing stuff here it's time already in my school I think it's lunch time here yeah. um, now if you want to know if you want to get the reading of the of the current you can also get uh, ammeter it's so noisy you click the ammeter it's lunch time here now it's 12 o'clock no 11 30 I think and then you connect ammeter here uh, for your reading wait wait so ugly by the way you can move it down I'm making life difficult you can this is flexible flexible wire okay oh no you can just stretch it there you go now it is uh, connected and then you can now start to close your switch okay now the electrons are moving from negative terminal going to the positive terminal and that is by the way the electron flow the concept of electron flow there are two concepts the other one is the conventional current where the um, electrons or the electric charges move from um, 
positive to negative charges. It's so let's see, let's build a parallel also. I will build a parallel here. This is a series circuit because it's only a single path. From here, going here, okay, you can make this so ugly. Um, you can beautify your own circuit, guys. Don't follow my circuit, okay? So here, in the next, you can also make this one smaller, by the way. You go to size, and you can make this one smaller, but this one is too small, just medium. You can also make it larger. Okay, now, let's build a parallel circuit beside the series circuit. We don't have enough space. Okay, here, and another one, one switch. You can also have two switches if you want, but this one is for the sake of comparison, guys. Let's see what's, what will happen to if you have also two light bulbs in a parallel circuit. So you connect this one, and then what else? Okay, one light bulb. Oh, wait. And by the way, if you want to remove this one, if you mistakenly um, add up this bulb here or any wire or whatever, just simply click this one here. Click, and then right click, and then split junction. Now it's removed, right? And then you put it aside. Because I want to make two branches. Because I'm going to make a parallel circuit. Okay. And another wire. Connect it here. Stretchable, stretchable, yeah, stretchable. And another light bulb. Make sure you connect it. This one is connected wrong. Okay, so you have to split junction. Connect the other side. Okay, and get another wire. And another wire for this. Okay. Now, if you want also to have a current reading, get ammeter. Hmm. Where are you going to put this? Is it okay here? Uh, no. Split junction. Ah, try split junction. It's trying to connect there. It's annoying. And you can connect this. Ah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> They're connected. He wants to connect there. Oh, split junction. Oh, now they're disconnected, all of them. You have to connect them again. It takes time, guys. It takes patience as well. So be patient. Uh, you're lucky that you're doing simulation. If you're doing the real thing and then you connect it, if you mistakenly connect them, you're going to burn the whole laboratory. No, not really. And then you connect this one. Okay, now you have the ammeter and then you can close this. See? It works. And the light bulb are actually brighter compared to series. Okay? So, as you see, we have equivalent amount of battery. But let's see if they have equivalent voltage. By the way, if you want to check the voltage, just simply click the battery and right click. And there's a value. Click the show value. And you will see that's 9 voltage. And this one also, 9 voltage. So they have the same voltage. But you see, the parallel circuit is brighter because this amount of voltage are distributed evenly to each of the bulb. While this one, because since it's a single path, this 9 voltage are divided to, for this and for this. So the voltage for this would be um, lesser than the voltage of the battery. In order for you to find it out, you get a voltmeter. You have a tools here. And then here we go. We have a voltmeter. And let's see what's the voltage of this valve now. It's 4.5. It's half of 9, right? And for, the, for this two bulb, you will get 9 voltage. For a single bulb, you get only 4.5. So it's dimmer. But if you go to a parallel circuit, not in a series circuit, each of the bulb exactly have the same amount of voltage of the battery. 
9 voltage here, 9 voltage here. Now, why is that? Because it's parallel, okay? It's parallel. The electrons flow are not moving in a single pathway, but in, in, a, in this path and in this path as well. So that's why the, the electric current is greater compared, the parallel circuit has a greater current compared to the series circuit. Okay, if you do your calculation to this, go to your, um, find out the formula of uh, the Ohm's law, you know, Ohm's law. By the way, Ohm's law is not really a real life law because in Ohm's law, according to Ohm's law, um, what is this? Voltage directly proportional to current, right? And also to voltage is, is, is directly proportional to resistance and current and resistance are are indirectly proportional yes that's according to Ohm's law but when you do the in Ohm's law in order for you to find out you have to have a fixed value of resistance but in real life resist, resistance actually value is also changing for example here the light bulb and the light also the bulb keeps on uh, heating then the resistance will also change. So if you also want to find the value, to, sh to see the value of your resistance in the bulb, you can just simply click this and that's it, 10 ohms. And click this one and you can also click this one and also click that one and find out the resistance of the bulb because the bulb itself also acts as resistor. But anyway, that's it guys, you have the series and the parallel circuit. So. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to type any comments and comment below. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.